Hey guys, so this is going to be my second Rush Haul video. Um, I'm sorry if I sound a little weird. I just got a cold uh, that started yesterday. I thought it was just allergies, but turns out I'm all sniffly and gross today, which kind of really upset me, but nothing is going to stop me from going to Lush. So I went in, and I knew I wouldn't be able to smell anything, but I went in anyway, and I spent a whole lot of money. Okay, so let's start, I guess, over here. Um, this is actually a face mask. Um, this is the one with the blueberries in it, and I have issue, like, I have issues with um, redness on my face. Um, I use Proactive. Um, I've been using it for a while now, and I still have redness in my face that I'm trying to take care of. Everything else is kind of been under control for a while, but I told her that, and she told me, she suggested to me that I should use the um, Catastrophe Cosmetic. Um, like I said, this one's got blueberries in it, and I'm supposed to put it in the freezer, so right after this video, I'm going to be, not freezer, I'm sorry, the refrigerator. I'm going to put it right back in the refrigerator, and I'll use it another time. Um, so that's that one. I did not get the Love Lettuce, but I did actually get a little sample of it. Um, when I bring back my tubs, I'm going to go ahead and get the Love Lettuce, most likely. Um, the next one I have is a uh, face and body scrub. It's called Ocean Salt. It's really good for exfoliating the body and everything like that. Um, I'm probably just going to use it on my face. It looks like this before you mix it up. She gave me a little stick to mix it up, you know, with and everything before I first use it. So that's the salt on top and then the blue. Um, everything else is inside it. Let's see, we take the lime and the coconut and grapefruit and sea salt and mix them up together in our sim stimulating fruity vodka-based face scrub for a complexion that glows. So I'm excited about that. I got the small one of that just because I didn't want to spend $30 for the big one. So if I like it, I'll probably get another one. The next thing I got was a Dream Wash. I don't know why I got the big one. I don't know if they have a small one. But I just grabbed it and brought it over. At the end, I was just kind of grabbing stuff all around and just putting it in my basket. This is a shower soap, and it's kind of... I don't know if this is in the smoothie line. If anybody knows, can let me know. Um, it's a lovely calming shower soap with... Um, I'm not going to say this right. Cam camomine? Calamine? Um, chamomile and soothing herbs. So I'm guessing this one will like relax me before I go to bed if I want to use it. It's kind of pinkish. And I can't... I'm going to keep trying to smell stuff, but I'm not going to be able to actually get any sense of it in my nose. But it's very calming kind of smell. Let's see. What else I got? I'm sorry. Ooh, that was my weird sound that came out of my throat. Oh, I'm falling apart here. Just kind of like my little lushy. Look at that. Oh, I'm so upset. I saw this once we got back in the car to come back home. And I really wanted to keep this to keep all my free samples in. But I'm probably going to have to use my... um the Soul Revival box. This is a shower jelly and it's really gross and yummy. And what you do is you break off little bits of this and you put it in your loofah or you lather up in your hands and it's seriously like a shower gel only it's a jelly form and it's pretty cool. Heather got the whoosh form this one. I'm sorry but the name is just running out of my head right now. I'll post it but um, I don't know why the name's not coming to me. It's because I'm so sleepy. I should be in bed. I took some sleepy medication, but it hasn't kicked in yet. It's because I'm so excited about my Lush. Okay, the next thing I have here is the Jungle um, Solid Conditioner. I can't smell it, but this one's really nice. It's actually solid. It's green. I meant to keep these open so I could, you know, show you guys what they look like. Um, I also got two big old thing blocks in the back right there of Sexy Peel because it's my favorite, favorite, favorite soap there. Um, I did not get to take back my Rockstar soap. I wanted to, but we never got over to the Macy's store, and we went to the Armitage, Armitage, um, store, which I love that store. They're so amazing there. Um, not that they're not amazing at the other ones, but this is the Jungle Conditioner. I really can't smell it. I'm really sorry, guys. Um, I might just redo this. If not, Hopefully it'll still be good enough. The next one I got is the Sultana soap. And the two little mini soaps over there. Um, that's Honey, I Wash the Kids and Demon in the Dark. Those are actually not for me. Those are for my friend Amber. She was not able to go to the store with us because she had to work. So I told her I'd pick them up for her. 
And she brought me in food one day to make it up for me, so yeah. Then, okay, so this is the Sultana of Soap. And this one's just got a really clean smell, kind of fresh, and it's got little, sorry, my camera's messing up there, little bits and pieces of fruit. I heard it was fruit, fruity stuff. Let's see what the name tag says, since I don't know what I'm talking about. Way to go, Kristen. Awesome. Currants and cranberries. Oh my, this is our creamy, ugh, I don't know how to say that, Rococo soap. So that's that guy. All right. Have time. Let's see. Next, I guess I'll go on the next one. I do not know the name of this one. Um, there's two. <coughs> I'm so sorry. There's two different ones. There's this one, which is the green one, of course, and then there's the lighter one. The other one smells like plain sugar. I cannot smell this, and I could not get the smell. She said this was the most popular one out of the two, so I decided to go with this one. Oh, so sorry. What this one is is a sugar scrub. Now what you do with a sugar scrub is you step out of a steam step out of the steam of water, rub this powerhouse of a bar all over your skin, then rinse. It's got balancing lavender mixed with stimulating fennel and ginger. Tackle your wobbly bits. <laughs> that reminds me of that movie. I can't remember it now. Um, while leaving the rest of you soft as a baby. Wobbly bits. I love that. Who is that? Bridget Jones when she gets out of the bed and she's like, I don't want you to see all my wobbly bits, you know. That's how all girls are when they're first dating a guy. They don't want you, you don't want them to see you all in, you know, the light and everything. You don't want them to see all your bad areas. <clears throat> so the next one I got, um, I've already showed you guys, these are the sunny sides. This is my favorite bubble bar because I love the way it makes the water look. I got two of those, so now I have an altogether total of three. And then this is the Dreamtime Bath Melt. I haven't tried this one yet because I don't really like the smell. It's too, I don't know, I think it's too aggressive for me. Too aggressive of a smell. It's got jasmine flowers, cocoa butter, sandalwood oil, and chamomile oil. allows this bar to soothe you. Drop into a warm bath and melt away. Since it is such a strong smell, I'm probably going to cut that into thirds, maybe even fourths, and just use it four times so it's not as strong when I use it. Um, I got another Sakura bath bomb, which has the little, little pop rocks on top. I have not used my first one, but I love the scent, so I know I'm going to love that. Um, this is the Golden Slummers bath bomb. Now, this one, I have, um, I smelled it, and I like it, kind of, but then it's not really, I can't really smell it that well, and it's got little pieces of stuff in it, so I was like, okay, I'm just going to try um, our magic sleeping potion works better than a fairy godmother. Handsome price, not included. Drop into a full bath to enjoy fragrance and fizz. This is supposed to kind of put me to sleep. It's got some sparkles on it, but if my camera would focus. Focus. Okay, it's not. But it's supposed to kind of like calm me and put me to sleep. Then I got another Happy Blooming. I've only used one piece of this, and I do like it, but I'm probably going to cut it even smaller than the thirds. I'm probably going to do one, two, three, four, five, six. Um, six pieces, just because it is so strong, and it made me so soft. It was crazy how soft it, it made me. The next one I have is the Stepping Stone Foot Scrub. Now, this guy, actually, they have it right next to the Soul Revival kit. Oh, I just dropped my sheet in there. Okay, they have it right next to it, and it smells really good, and it's so cute, it's like a little, I don't think it looks like a foot, I think it looks like a claw, like, rawr, <laughs> sorry, um, but I think it looks kind of cute, and it smells good, I can actually smell this one. It says, pumice to scrub, cocoa butter to soften, and zesty lemongrass to revive tired footsies, break off a piece.